Welcome to our instructional video on assembling the rigid laryngoscope. Our standard kit consists of the Lindholm scope, anterior commissure and rudder scope. We also have a chest support and laryngoscope holder, light lead, light clip, bite guard and towel clips. There are additional light carriers and suction ports. Rigid laryngoscopy is commonly performed when taking biopsies for cancers, removing foreign bodies, and assessing and securing the airway. First, the ringoscope holder and chest support must be assembled as shown here. The ringoscope holder is attached to the chest support. There is a small bolt that needs to be removed before threading the chest support through. This is then screwed in place. This is the Lindholm laryngoscope. It inserts into the end of the laryngoscope holder and is held in place by screwing in this bolt. The chest support can be adjusted. This adjusts the position of the scope, but should only ever be done by the surgeon. Before inserting the Lindholm scope into the patient, a light lead and clip is attached as shown here. It can then be attached to the suspension. This is the Ruddert laryngoscope. This is the Hollinger anterior commissure laryngoscope. This is the thinnest and narrowest laryngoscope in the set. It has a single port for insertion of a light carrier. This is inserted as shown in the video. Once clipped in place, it's screwed in to prevent any movement. The Ruddert laryngoscope has two ports available for insertion of a light carrier as well as suction. Here, the light carrier is inserted first. The light lead can then be attached as required. A suction port is optional but when performing bipolar or any laser through the laryngoscope, smoke can easily be evacuated using this suction port. Suction tubing is attached here when the scope is in situ. Both of these scopes are attached to the chest suspension and laryngoscope holder in the same way as a Lindholm scope as demonstrated here. Thank you for watching.